Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Do It Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be working on some fun fall farmhouse DIYs for a very fun group hosted by the lovely Liana DIY. So I'll be sure to leave the link to her channel as well as the playlist in my description box and let's get to it! Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute round sign from the Dollar Tree that says hello and I'm going to paint the background using some black folk art chalk paint. And once it's all dry, I'm going to go in with a very small paintbrush and I'm going to paint the word hello using some white Waverly chalk paint. And then I found this cute little mini pumpkin in my stash from last year and I'm going to paint it using some white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to just remove the stem just so it's easier. And then I also made this cute little bow using some Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon here and I'm going to dovetail the edges just using my scissors. And last but not least, I'm going to use our hot glue gun to add our cute little bow here to the top of our sign along with some little greenery picks from my stash and our cute little pumpkin in the center. And that'll be it for this adorable Hello Fall sign DIY. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I'm going to be using this cutting board by Woodpecker's Crafts. And I'm going to start off by adding a simple little painter's tape. And I'm going to paint the center using some black folk art chalk paint. Alrighty, once we carefully remove that painter's tape, I'm going to go in and add a second row here at the bottom because I'm going to add some cute little black and white stripes. So I'm going to go in and alternate between white chalk paint and black chalk paint. And then I repeated the same process on the top of our cutting board as well. Next I'm going to fill in this cute little farm fresh pumpkin stencil that I got from Timu using some white chalk paint. And then we'll go in and carefully remove that stencil. Next I'm going to go in with some more of our little greenery picks and my hot glue gun and I'm going to add them to the top of our sign. And then I also made this cute little bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'll add it to the center. And that'll be it for this beautiful Farm Fresh Pumpkin Sign DIY. And don't forget to check out the links in my description box to connect with me on different platforms like on Instagram or my Etsy shop where you'll find a beautiful home decor and personalized gifts. Alrighty, for our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this cute little pumpkin shaped sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off by removing that little bow and sanding off that glitter. Next I'm going to paint it using some white chalk paint. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to trace on another Timu stencil that says Farm Sweet Farm and then I'm going to fill it in using a black acrylic marker. Next I'm going to paint the stem using some black chalk paint and then I'm going to go in and distress the sign a bit using some Parisian grey folk art chalk paint.
next I wanted to add some cute little dots. So I'm going to go in with the back of my paintbrush and a little bit more of some black chalk paint. I'm just going to add some dots here and there. And then I made two cute little bows, one using some more buffalo check ribbon and then another using some Dollar Tree jute twine. And I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to add them here to the top of our sign. And then I found these cute little berry picks from my Halloween stash. So I'm going to go ahead and clip the end and use my hot glue gun to add them under our bow. And with that last little finishing touch, that'll be it for this adorable Farm Sweet Farm pumpkin sign DIY. For our next project today, I'm going to be using one of these little ceramic pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by painting the majority of our pumpkin using some black chalk paint. And here's how it's looking now. Next I'm going to go in with some Celery Waverly chalk paint to paint the leaves and some Truffle Waverly chalk paint to paint the stem. Then I went in with some white chalk paint on a dry brush and I'm going to distress our pumpkin. Last but not least, I made another cute little bow using some more buffalo check ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'll go ahead and dovetail the edges and then I'm going to use our hot glue gun to add it to the top of our pumpkin. Alrighty and that'll be it for this adorable little farmhouse pumpkin DIY. And for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this little summer sign from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by removing that little starfish sticker on the top. And then I'm going to paint the little roof using some black chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in and paint the center of our sign using some white chalk paint. And if you're still with me, let me know what is your favorite fall tree in the comment section below. Mine has to be a pumpkin loaf cake. So good. And while our sign is drying, I'm going to go in with this cute little wooden cutout that says Welcome Fall from this Dollar Tree set. And I'm going to paint it using some black chalk paint. And along the bottom of our sign, I'm going to go in with some of these little rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree set, and I'll just apply them one at a time along the bottom. Next, I'm going to go in with some Dollar Tree jute twine. I'm going to wrap it around the top of our sign a few times and make a cute little bow in the center. And last but not least, I'll go ahead and trim down those little edges and then I'll use my hot glue gun to add our welcome fall sign here to the center of our sign. And that'll be it for today's black and white fall farmhouse DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below.
so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that little notification bell to be notified when i release new content and i'll be sure to leave the links to my etsy shop as well as my social media in my description box and we'll see you next time